three, four. Sorry, no, it was actually one more, but I decided to play that part. Yeah. <laughs> it sounded good. It sounded good. Yeah. Okay. I like it. All right. Like that. Get that. Uh, get that energy up. Mm-hmm. It's a good feel song. Thank you. It's called Heartbeat Melody. That's a new one that you mm-hmm. have available. Yes, it uh, released. Uh, when did I release it? Couple months ago. Yeah, yeah, in uh, J- no August, August fourth. Yeah. Oh, last month. It's already right on. Yeah, I don't even know what month it is. <laughs> <laughs> One month later. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you told me when you got up here that you were ready for a vacation. I I am very much ready for vacation. <laughs> <laughs> so what have you been up to? What's been wearing you out? Uh, lots. Um, lots of growth musically lots of growth personally which is you know amazing so yeah my new custom yeah this is one of the uh parts of growth i guess um yeah so this is like not even three weeks old yeah about three weeks old and yeah i think pumps it does it's not fully it's not even fully opened yet it's just like loud in your face and um for those who haven't uh, seen the specs or, or uh, are not um, aware of what specs are on it, um, I decided to go with the Koa neck uh, for this one. I've only ever played mahogany necks. And when I had the chance to play the uh, the 25th anniversary uh, uke, I instantly noticed a huge you know difference in sound with the Koa neck. And so I wanted that on my custom. So... I like it because it just feels so solid compared to the mahogany. Yeah. And that's from, like the whole, all the coal mm-hmm. is from Uncle Joe's personal stash. stash yeah. Reserve. Yeah. So I did not see any any photos or anything. I didn't want any. I didn't want to see it before it was done. So the only thing that I did see was you know selecting you know the wood from uh, from his stash. So um, he had curly coal with spalt with sapwood. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Yeah. Sick. So it's it's very, very rare to have all three like that in, in a usable piece of wood. And all of this came from uh, a fallen koa tree that was about 150 years old. Wow. Nice. Yeah. So cool. So, and then the, uh, a lot of people have been asking, like, what what is the uh, the rosette? 
like a, what kind of material is it? And it's actually epoxy. Um, it's a very fine and uh, precise measurement of black and fine silver that Joe and I created. Wow. And we were kind of going for that sort of gunmetal color. You know, it's, it's like shiny, but not over the top. Yeah, yeah. it blends well with mm -hmm. the whole theme mm -hmm. of the blend the coloring it's ridiculous yeah ridiculous and then same thing for the the fingerboard too um just a little less silver in that one um but when the light is on it like you can still like it pops in the right mm -hmm. light i like how it looks like more though your name is more on the subtle side mm -hmm. but you can obviously tell that it's there yeah yeah nice <clears throat> and then the back again was that the um does that have sound? Oh, yeah. 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 Holy moly. And, and spot too. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> yeah. The sap is like really like deep and like golden looking. Mm -hmm. I like that a lot. Yeah. With a spot in the sap. Just is. bam. It's mm -hmm. a, that's a buff ukulele. It's like it's always flexing. <clears throat> so I was like. <laughs> <laughs> forget about forget about bicep cramps here. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The sound too, like holy moly! Mm -hmm. Congratulations on that one, Brittany. Nice. Thank you. You you definitely deserve such a piece. Thank you. I know. Did, you didn't want to get that uh, the what is that the the true relief? Yeah. Oh, it's here. Oh, that, mm -hmm. that's the um, regular arm bevel. Yeah. Oh, oh you mean like the 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 actual the taper? Uh, um, no, I I kind of. I feel like it's it's like a guitar when I put it in my hands like that. Yeah. So I, I didn't want that sort of, you know, feeling. And then like that so kind of changes mm -hmm. where you're strumming for the Right, fingers, yeah. You know? But this armrest makes a huge difference. Nice. Yeah. You play forever. Yes. <laughs> no numbness or tingling in <laughs> yeah. your pinky. pinky. Pinky and ring fingers. Yeah. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. Dang. Can't wait to see what you record with that. <laughs> yeah, it sounds so good in the studio. I bet it sounds good like coming through here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So you've been recording. Mm-hmm. I've been uh, recording my next album. Finally, like actually doing work on it, doing work on it. Um, this album is going to be very different from the previous five, um, in the sense that everything that I've gone through in the past ten years during my absence from the industry. Um, all of those experiences are being written. So I'm kind of in this this mental space now where I'm able to put out and create all of those feelings that I had from good, bad, and perilous times during my absence. So, yeah, it's, it's going to be a very vulnerable project, I think. Vulnerable is good. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't like to be vulnerable, best. especially... On stage and in the public but <laughs> you kind of have to being a musician you know mm -hmm. I think people are drawn towards that mm -hmm. helps them everybody's going through mm -hmm. all kinds of things you know right. so can't be afraid to share mm -hmm. I mean you're doing it through music mm -hmm. so you know it's yeah. more of a feeling for sure with this album too I'm, I'm doing all of the production myself um, I have a studio at my house now, so that's, that's been fun. Um, so yeah, I've been trying to, trying to just like do as much as I can, um, uh, on my own and, you know, just really sit down and write, kind of put myself back in those, those, you know, situations that I went through and, uh, just articulate it into something musical and, uh, hopefully it can help heal someone else as well. Nice. Yeah. Are you using those Telefunken mics, I learned you? <laughs> yes, mm. I still have them. Uh, cool. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry. I've been holding on to it. <laughs> oh, no, no. I mean, it's fine. I'll let you know when I need it. Okay. But we're good right now. Yeah. Well, that's great. I mean, we need we need more music from you. So. It's been, um, it's been 11 years long. overdue. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Here and there, but yeah. The full project is, is definitely due. I know people appreciate you popping up with music though throughout the years. It's not been a total absence. <laughs> and you've been on here and all that. Yeah, kind of stuff, yeah, so. true. So we are going to be featuring some mukes tonight that are going uh, up for auction 
for Maui. One of them Clay has in his hands, which you can find at the ukulele site right now. And all the proceeds are going to Maui Food Bank. Yeah, I was watching a video the other day and it was uh, showing one of the local run facilities there that was providing food and supplies for people and they were putting out you know three meals a day and you could see like lines of people there and it, it was really nice all like locally run but um they said where are you getting the food and they said Maui Food Bank's been delivering every day so nice it's good to um donate towards uh, a group that's really going directly to helping the people and uh yeah just trying to do our part along with different builders so the good folks at koloha donated this ktm koa tenor that you guys can bid on and there's got to be a lot of good mana that comes with all of the instruments that are going to be won oh, through these auctions it's a lineup of amazing instruments yeah so and it's going to be going through like all month so i was talking to peter he's still waiting on some parts for his the cornerstone that he's finishing um so that one's not going to be ready yet there's a really decked out connie Lea that's coming that's going to be in the future but tonight we're going to be featuring well, one of them is a super nice Kanilea that a uh, customer donated. And the other one is from Chuck Moore, oh. which is really oh. an epic piece from him. So, yeah, let's check those out. One, two, three. <laughs> some time to this gorgeous morbetta i don't think i've i've loved a morbetta as much since the one i took home which kind of is the same woods you yeah know? <laughs> i love that love it love it how old is that one i'm like 10 years i'm um, not quite you know maybe seven or something like that but my favorite one is that spruce black and white ebony it just sounds so amazing like this one does just right off the bat bam so nice it's got the Lahaina Banyan tree and 100% uh, of the proceeds are gonna go to the people of Maui so such a special time to get a one of a kind more better mm -hmm. okay so i'm gonna um want to get a sample from all three of you guys if you guys want to do it from the 
main station there, okay. and then we'll we'll get samples of this uh, Kanilea as well. By the way, this Kanilea is quite special too. It uh, Willie K played it on his last tour, and then it was originally auctioned for by one of the nonprofits for Saving Hawaii Forests and also for Willie K's Cancer Fund. Um, but yeah, now it'll get auctioned off for the people of Lahaina and Maui. So yeah, let's start off though with the more better. And then Brittany, if you can start off with a solo piece on it. It's only appropriate to play it on this. Um, it's very bright and sustains a really long time, which I, I love. Um, I feel like the, the each note is just... I'm going to pull a Mika and say articulate. <laughs> we have to mention that. Yeah. Wherever we can. Yeah. Whenever we can. <laughs> it's very clear, very loud. Yeah. One thing I can say too about both of the more better that I have is the action in the last decade hasn't changed at all. Like the way he builds and with the graphite rod in the neck, it's like butter action and it just stays that way. Yeah. <laughs> it's really, yeah, amazing. Okay. We could, who's next? Oh.
it has this really nice glow and over overtone to the Exactly what you expect from a, a more better. It's a tighter kind of grain that, that we usually see, yeah? It's like when you step on the sustain pedal of a piano or keyboard mm -hmm. and you just, it doesn't turn off. <laughs> it's just like... <laughs> I'm just like I, I kind of had in my head what I wanted to do but after picking it up it's just like oh
Beautiful. Jeez. <laughs> Can I just play this for the rest of the night, <laughs> please? <laughs> no, I'm not kidding either. <laughs> wow. There's just so much going on. It's bright, it's warm, it's deep. It's all of the above. Um, Jeez. <laughs> We had a couple of Chuck Moores that came in this year, but oh man, this one takes the cake. And uh, whoever gets this is it's a very special ukulele. This would be the first and only one of its kind with Maui strong, strong on it with the famous Lahaina banyan tree, which is said to be well over a hundred years old. And dang. Loving how it looks, how it feels, how it sounds. The way Chuck sets up his instruments is almost like when you play it, it has an action almost as low as an electric guitar, which makes it extremely convenient for playing. But then yet it doesn't buzz at the same time. That's incredible. Yeah, a piece like this is the culmination of many of years of a creative genius and his work at his craft. And he definitely is doing the best work of his life. You can come in, Corey. But, you know, he's got such a big heart. I had a feeling he was going to come through um, with something to help out the people of Maui and it's no small feat i mean his his work gets you know something like this he could make and sell through us for anywhere 15 to twenty thousand dollars easily yeah. so um for him to to give this is is really a beautiful thing and i love that guy he's he's my favorite dude so um thank you chuck really appreciate it and so do the people of Maui. So, yeah, hopefully you guys can bid on this and get a really incredible piece while doing some good. So, let's go next to this Connie Lea.
this is pretty much a this ukulele falls into that legendary category um, not only because of what it was built and represents for of uh, from our islands and um, this ukulele was part of the endangered uh, bird species series that some um, kanilea um, started doing some time ago but this one in particular is number one um, from the EEV line and one of our most famous and legendary entertainers here from the islands Mr. Willie K um, used this on his last tour before he passed away and so there's a lot of mana a lot of life a lot of power a lot of blood sweat and tears that went into this ukulele not just during um, the time when it was being built but even after as well and so this is very very special and this is 001 is the Manu Super Tenor number one and it's pretty incredible um, we, got the, we got the chance to check these out when they first released the series and this one opened up perfectly um, you can hear a lot of the different types of overtones the sustain the volume and yeah this probably won't won't get another one like this in ever again yeah to be willie k's personal gigging uke uh, yeah i mean he's from the wow. island of maui too so so fitting so this went for fifteen thousand, and a wonderful customer randy donated it for the people of of Maui so thank you so much Randy that's so generous of you and we're gonna start bidding at 9,000 so yeah it's a uh, it's a special uke definitely is I saw a top secret guitar being made the other day I With, didn't even see it yet it's like a bigger version of the custom Leo with the true relief oh is it a uh, what size about I don't, I don't know. Look, maybe a smaller body steel string. I was like, can we have it? <laughs> like, it's still in, we're still in development stages here. Oh. But yeah, Kahiao's kind of hitting that. But... Is it the same size as uh, that Islander guitar that they used to? No, I think it's a little bit bigger than bigger. that small body. Uh, it's going to be, you're going to be drooling. I've got to pay them a visit. <laughs> The right amount of top end it's really clear mm -hmm. and uh the mid range response is like a it's perfect mm -hmm. sometimes like ukuleles can have a little bit too much for everything yeah i think it's yeah. clear the really deep mm -hmm. response from the that bigger body a nice ring too Jeez. Thank you. 
can see why uh, Uncle Billy played this. The action is really nice too. Yeah, I, I apologize. Uh, the wires for the pickup might need to be reharnessed inside. Heard a little bit of a vibration from them when you guys were playing, but those are the kind of things that we make sure are perfect in our setup process before they ship out. But again, thank you so much to Randy for letting go of such an epic piece. Um, you know, this is like Clay was saying in the category of legendary ukuleles. And um, we have a handful more that are coming from customers, really nice ukes. And, you know, the problems for the people over there are so far from being resolved. They're going to need help for a long time. So yeah. we're going to keep doing this, um, you know, as, as long as we can. And it's a beautiful thing to see people from around the world reach out and, and want to help like this so thank you guys so much and um next we're gonna feature some we, we leolani gave us six ukes for the auction um a few of them are already up um another one's gonna go up in the next day and then th these three that I want you guys to feature. We actually don't have sound samples up, but they're really cool ukes. And what's cool about these two is um, if you guys want to get in on this, it's not an arm and a leg. These are going to be on the more affordable side, but um, still really cool ukes. So yeah, Kumu Leolani, check out next. So this Saturday, the 16th, uh, Craig and Sarah are having a live concert and I'll be down there helping filming and I think all three of you guys are going to be down there performing and helping, right? Yep. Yes. I'll be moderating the YouTube chat and performing. Nice. Sweet. We're going to get a Corey and Clay performance as well? Yes, we will. Very We're cool. Gonna practice. We're excited. There's a... a I, I, I'm going to put up the flyer here. I forget offhand, but it's got all kinds of amazing artists. Mm -hmm. Jake, Jeff Peterson, a bunch of killers. Mm -hmm. um, so. Pretty much everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Literally everyone. Yeah. yeah. Neil, Mika. Check that out. Do you guys know offhand Craig and Sarah's YouTube channel? Um, I think it's... I think it's just Craig and Sarah. Okay. Yeah. It's going to be on the fly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And we'll be kind of doing that in connection with all of these auctions. I, there's a bunch I have to list this week too. Like customers um, bought like a, a number of different ukes for the auction on our site that, that have to go up. So there's going to be a bunch of ukes up there. But the show's going to be really fun too. And, you know, you guys can watch the show and just donate a little bit from there as well if you don't, you know, want to buy a uke or whatever. But that's going to be really cool. So definitely check that out. What are you guys going to play on these Leolani's? I don't get to play with the effects, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Brittany, why don't you go first? This is a concert with a solid mahogany top. What's the model number in there? Leolani C01. Let's take a listen. Nice yeah. body and projection. Yeah. Clay, what do you got? Oops. Ten <laughs> percent <10% laughs> off. <laughs> Actually, they forgot to put the the model number on here, but I do know it's from the Laser series, and these are actually really good um, ukuleles if you're looking for something that's fun, playable, sounds good, and. We sell a lot of these in the store. There's uh, different variations of it. They have the, I think it was the 88, the 99, and the 100. Yeah. And this is the, this is the C99, which features the Hawaiian Islands um, laser engraved. And they're actually labeled too, so you know what they're called, where they're located, and how far they, away f or how far they are away from each other. such a very affordable ukulele this is a pretty good sound Nice. <laughs> little bluegrass sounding yep. inspired. <laughs> then the one I have, this is the T24G in a tenor size with laminate ebony top, back, and sides. Very powerful sound. And one of my favorite things about this is it comes with the X2 rechargeable pickup. This pickup system has a built-in speaker on the back that'll kind of vibrate um, whatever's played through the instrument when it's turned on and it'll produce the effects kind of like a tone wood amp. It's really nice. So this is what it sounds like acoustically.
some reverb on. You can dial it back a little bit. <laughs> throw on some delay. That was too fast. You know what that'd be good for is like some reggae stuff. Oh. Maybe that's too much off. Yeah, the delay, uh, the control is the speed of it. Yeah, that's too much. Uh... <laughs> Ten minutes later. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, you can fool around with the parameters here and get a very unique and interesting sound that you get. This is a room reverb. The one that I was using was a hall that has a really long trailing kind of effect to it. This one is more of a practical. <laughs> what is this? The room reverb? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Kind of gives you a little bit more space with the, the tone. And then as you plug in, you can plug in and you don't have to use any pedals anymore. This will pretty much replace your reverb pedal and, and delay if you need. Um, and it's completely rechargeable, has a USB-C port. You plug in for, I remember it was like an hour, you get up to a couple of hours of play and then if you wanna go back to normal life, you just turn it off. And to go back to normal life <laughs> nobody i want to go on vacation <laughs> we were talking about earlier yeah. all four of us <laughs> well we're going this kind of vacation here let's go to maui they need they need some help over there they need some tourism yeah anyways yeah that is the X2 double pickup that comes with this one. Beautiful. Yeah. All right, so look out for these and many more 
to be under our auction category at our website and yeah we're gonna keep putting them up there's gonna be a bunch more coming really amazing ukes couldn't go to a better cause and we really appreciate your guys support for our brothers and sisters over there in maui who desperately need the help so thank you guys so much and thanks for tuning in again and we'll be back next week with more and we love you and aloha <laughs>